Death Watch is a game that breaks the mold a little on the genre. It's an anomaly game that, is, that has the feel of a ghost hunting game, but the only part of the ghost hunting part is the exorcism. You're not trying to figure out the ghost. As of this video, it has been out on early access for about a month. I have about three hours played on it so far. So cut it some slack. It's still a work in progress. I applaud and so should you any dev that is willing to think outside of the box and not just give us another clone of the ghost hunting games that are out there currently. Death Watchers though, from my first impression, is a challenging game. It's not easy. I feel the learning curve is a steep for now. You basically have to farm maps for a bit to get mo enough money to keep yourself in gear. Cause deaths, using consumables, or leaving gear behind in the house makes you lose it. I feel this game is going to be one of those games that is for those who love a greater challenge than what is out there currently. There is a lot going on and you're trying to keep track of all of it and not die. You have health, but no idea when the ghost or whatever it is is going to try and kill you. The game has a very good tutorial. I love the options of having the video to show you how to use the gear, or if you need to use the text, you can use the text. As far as the post game board, I love this. Instead of having to go into the book, I just love having a board here to letting me know everything that I need to know as far as the money I made, my viewers I got off of it, you know, audio go or audio help, you know, all your herbs, things like that is I, I thoroughly enjoy. You also change your character from this section, but it's nice just not having to open up a book and having to look at it all, that it's all right there in front of you. Then you've got your buy station. Your buy station has got all your gear that you're going to have where you put in the amount of the amount of things, not amount of things. It's also where your locations are. There's currently three maps. Uh, this just gives you another thing to buy, to use money for. The next board is where you pick your map, your game mode, and your difficulty, and then you hit start and you go on in. So from this part, I love the fact that you can't leave gear in the house or you lose it. You have to bring everything back to the tables. You at least have to bring it back to the tables. Uh, this game is not going to be for everyone. Um, it's definitely steep. Uh, it's going to be a game, even though with a good tutorial and you're going to be able to have to play a lot before you get used to it. I've played about three hours of it and it's still, and I'm still figuring stuff out. I feel some of the controls are clunky. You use E for a lot of things and some of those things are counterproductive to each other. So you're kind of changing things over. Uh, the game is $12, $12 USD currently. I believe it started off at 9 but now it is something else. Uh, from first impressions, though, I would recommend the game. If you are looking for something challenging and something that is different from the rest of the genre, then definitely. If you don't have a lot of time to invest on figuring things out on a game, then I would say put it on your wish list and wait and see. And watch others play it on either you know YouTube or Twitch and wait for things to flesh out more. I think the game is good, but I will admit I am still at the point of figuring things out. So it keeps me off center. Once I get used to things, I'm wanting to see if it still keeps my interest. But I think I will get my entertainment out of it. But if you guys like the video, give the video a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of this content, and have a great day. Bye.